Senko AP Physics Experiment number 23, Bomber Lines for Hydrogen. Students will observe the diffraction pattern of a hydrogen spectrum tube. The students will measure the wavelength of the lines of the Balmer series and compare to those predicted by the Bohr theory. They will use the experimentally measured lines of the Balmer series to calculate the Rydberg constant. The kit includes different colored rods with a mounting bracket, diffraction grating with stand, metric tape, and six handheld spectrometers. Required but not included are one or two fun stands, a spectrum tube power supply, and a hydrogen gas tube. In order to assemble your atomic spectra bench, you have to have one fun stand dedicated with a metric strip along the side. Now the kit comes with two metric strips, one that has a zero centimeter mark on the left and one that has one on the right. This way you can have two setups end to end, but we're only going to show you a setup of just one. Then you want to place on about five or six of these rod holders to hold the color rods. And then you want to grab this cradle. This goes on the end through the very last hole. Just use one of the included mounting bolts and that holds the spectra, spectra bench up for you. Next thing to do is to assemble the diffraction grating. You would take the diffraction grating and slide it through this holder. And then you can place it right on this block. Now you place the diffraction grating directly in front of the spectrum tube perpendicular to the atomic spectrum bench. Have a student look through this diffraction grating and then have them tell the partner what color they see through the diffraction grating and to move this over until it lines up with the spectrum color they see through the diffraction grating. Then you take the next color they see, move that over until it lines up with the spectrum that this one student sees. And keep doing that for all the predominant colors that you see in the spectrum. When the students are done, they have a visual representation of the entire spectrum that they see from this gas tube. Once students have these positioned correctly, they can use the distance between the diffraction grating lines, the distance between the diffraction grating and the light source, and the distance from the first order maximum to the light source to determine the exact wavelength of each color. Once you know the wavelength of each color, you could then determine the energy required for the electrons to fall down to give off a wavelength corresponding to that color.